if you are new here, I'm Kanitia, and if you're already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we are going to watch third episode of Anime to Your Eternity. I'm really excited about it. As usual, it is a request from Patreon. Uh, so thank you for requesting this anime. I'm really enjoying it. So let's see what the third episode has. Let's go. Okay, let's see. I didn't actually write up any kind of names from the previous episode. I hope it will be okay. Ah, oh, wait. So its function is to gather information. Well, it is its function, not its like goal or task, right? It's like, mm -hmm. like he didn't really say what is the purpose, just how it functions. Okay, imagine if it was some like God of the world uh, that wanted to check. March, right. Like how people on the earth are living and from the herbs uh, get that information. Make some decisions about the world. <laughs> like destroy it. Oh, yeah, keep it. Oh, I actually, I missed that part last time that there was like a dog flying. It's also like a symbol of freedom, right? And she ran away just at that moment. That, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and she tamed the orb. <laughs> Yeah, like the orb also still needs to figure out how to talk. Obviously, it is theoretically able to. Stimulation rich world. Yeah, okay, so we got a nice reminder of what happened in the first two episodes. And yeah, oh, that's cute. Yeah, now I can look at the opening and actually, like, um, recognize some of the characters, I think. Uh, we met um, many of them now. Well, not all, like, there's still a lot of the ones we didn't meet yet. Hmm. But there are some interesting scenes. <laughs> March is also a nice name. I feel like, in theoretically, it could also be symbolic of something, since March is the first month of the spring. So it could symbolize, in a way, uh, the beginning of the spring. Like, I'm not sure if that meaning was really, like, <laughs> um, the idea here, like, uh, were they thinking about it or not? Uh, but... Hmm... Yeah, there are some also pretty gruesome scenes there. So I expect there would be a lot of sadness in this anime. Like, judging um, by what we saw and from the opening. And also some kind of zombies. I don't know. So there is some paranormal for sure. Like, aside from the orb itself. Like, we could still kind of accept the orb. And um, have it be the only, like, paranormal thing in a completely normal world realistic world but from what we see in the opening it seems like there are abnormal paranormal so to say things um in this world aside from the orb okay mm -hmm. so i need to extend my hands to receive a fruit but then i need to drop it to the ground and chew <laughs> Oh. 
Doki people. That's interesting. That's pretty long. Imu? Morty. <laughs> Immo is not bad, I guess. A small evolution. Okay, that's exciting. Maybe our orb will have some small evolution. How do they walk around with this? How do they see? How did they even see a monster through this fingers? They were screaming so much when they saw the orb. But oh, that's cool. It's like a bone knife. She's very skillful. She really is like a ninja. Oh, it is that bear uh, that killed our orb when it just came to the forest. Hmm. Well, that's a good destruction, I guess. Also, this is a pretty nice forest. Very, very green. We were in such a winter location just before. And now everything is so summery. Makes you feel a bit bad for the bear, you know? <laughs> it's not like they kill, can heal, kill him like this anyway. Oof. But it still must hurt. Oof. Yeah, that was horrific. I wonder, like, um, this is bear's territory and they kind of came to his territory. So uh, the bear is trying to, well, protect his territory. <laughs> Sorry for repeating it three times. <laughs> Yeah, I guess she has to hurry. Yeah, girl, you just saw that it was pretty useless. <laughs> I hope there's water beneath this. It doesn't seem like it though. Because if she falls into a water, it would be uh, like more chances of survival, you know? It would still hurt, especially if you are not falling into water in a good form. But okay, I guess uh, these uh, trees softened the blow. And, and there is some water in the end. <laughs> But it is pretty shallow, so if she just fell straight into this water, probably the water wouldn't help much. <laughs> Anyways, she survived, she's fine. Maybe she's hurt, but... She's just going with them? Just like that. It might, might be because of her nightmare. I like how this just... Uh, okay, some guy. Whatever. <laughs> It 
it's interesting. Is he going to react? Like something is wrong? Uh, because uh, like the orbs uh, thoughts are still pretty simplistic so it might not it's probably shouldn't really understand like what is happening that girl is in any kind of danger or anything so yeah he's just walking calmly He's like, okay, the girl has left. I guess no more fruits for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure, like, he, it probably can't really understand speech as well, right? Is this like a gel? I know it looked pretty nice. <laughs> if maybe it has some special qualities like anesthetic or you fall asleep or you just die from it. Well, I hope not the last one. Okay, now she's interested because then <laughs> they just took her and left, like didn't even look at him. <laughs> Actually, he is not <laughs> of this world. <laughs> It's the one that ran away. So they never saw this bear? I mean, we met him right away when we entered this territory. Hmm. Could they think? Like, maybe some people saw this bear and thought this is this Lord Oniguma. Does she feel sleepy now? Yeah, so the jelly kind of puts your... How it's called? When, you know, like, before the surgery, they put it you um, in this kind of... Like, they give you this kind of anesthetic. I want to become a grown-up. Holy shit. Um, so you sleep like for several hours. Um, I chose so by myself. <gasps> oh, her eyes are open. That's a commendable choice, March. Yeah, I think she, she of course wanted to survive and I'm glad that she tried to run away, run away. but it seems like that nightmare uh, really made her like, also think about her village and other girls and she decided to sacrifice herself so all the others will be fine and like her parents won't be disappointed so to say. So like I can still understand why she did that, right? out of care for the people she cares about <laughs> man i need to expand my vocabulary yeah so they do tie them up so they can't run away i was um, pondering about it in the last episode the the flowers are pretty this is for the best but this is super depressing i really hope she survives i'm like okay i'm <laughs> i'm hoping for the best
Okay, so this sound is sleep, fine. The death? But no, it seems like the jelly just makes you fall asleep and doesn't kill you. They said themselves that she's sound asleep. So either uh, these girls just die and the, the corpse dissects to bones by itself, or like after they die, they're being eaten by some kind of wild animals. Or maybe like someone like this bear comes to eat them. And we can just hope that grass jelly is enough for them to not feel anything while they're being eaten. I mean, that's the best we can hope for. So for them, this bear is Oniguma. But that's just an animal, that's just a bear. So, yeah, this is purely ritualistic, especially since, like, the little girl is not a sufficient meal, you know? Um, they just really believe it is some kind of god. Yeah, and it took her a while even to... Um, <sighs> Like, it will take even more time to... Cut these ropes, because she cut the one on her hands uh, for a while. They really don't care about the orb guy. They're like, whatever. <laughs> he just went in like like ninja also. Nobody noticed him. So, is the march dead or alive? Without the, just march. Oh, bear can get up like this? We already died from this bear once. Is it a coincidence he, uh, Orb also got there, or was it kind of actually following March? <gasps> so the Orb can take the forms it already knew before too? And it thought, okay, if it's like in this form, maybe I can try another form, the animal one that I know? So it can still... Oh, that's interesting. If it kills the bear and gets the form of the bear, will it also be able to transform into a bear? Just like, I can't really do anything as a human. Maybe I can try like this. Oh... Oh, it's its vision? That's pretty cool. And it's more like black and white because it's an animal now. I think dogs, well, I'm not sure about the wolves. But I think dogs kind of see less colors than us. 
maybe not completely black and white i'm not quite sure Also, what is this reaction that is being shown? Ah, oh, foof. But the regeneration is even better than before, right? It's even faster than before. That's even pretty scary, you know? Oof. So it's good that orb by itself doesn't really seem to possess any like wish to do harm upon uh, those who don't do harm to others so to say like it, it is attacking this bear right now but it might be because the bear was the first to attack right so if uh, you know what i mean right so this power by itself is scary and if you have bad intentions, right, it is scarier. Okay, so she's fine, right? So the bear just uh, pushed the sister away. It didn't hurt the girl. It looks like Lord Aniguma is a little bit dead. Yeah, that we have to leave and nobody can see us. Mm, to their land. So we come in somewhere with them? And the bear? <laughs> Cute. Well, it already knows March and knows uh, she means no harm and she brings food, so I don't think it's going to hurt my March in any way. Oh! Oh! So uh, the teaching didn't go in vain. It can't say arigato. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder when they said the small evolution, what was it exactly about, about being able to say arigato? No, it seems like, um, yeah, the orb kind of thought, okay, this girl that gave me nice fruits, she's going somewhere. I like the fruits, maybe I should follow her. Uh, she kind of seemed a bit unhappy. I'm not sure if it can feel that. Um, I feel like I did. It can. It can feel the emotions. Uh, so the orb decided to follow. Kind of maybe doesn't even know how to run. I'm not sure. Did we see it run um, as, a, as a human? Uh, so it just walked calmly to, to where she was brought. Uh, and then uh, the orb saw the bear who was trying to go in for an attack. And attacked not only the girls but the orb itself um what are we calling him immo uh, right uh so oh i like the transition from orb to the full moon and the ending that's pretty cool uh so yeah it started attacking the bear back uh because like the idea of self-defense also uh pretty instinctual so to say right um so and uh, it looks like uh, it did kill the bear so completely negate it 
the orb completely negated the threat um that was pretty interesting and yeah it is obviously friendly towards march and expectations were met when he came up to march he received the fruit um and i think like if march wanted to like hug him or like, go, go closer to the wolf uh, it wouldn't hurt her in any way but of course it's understandable why the sister thought it is dangerous like that's all she saw from it basically <laughs> of course she would think uh, it's not safe uh, the actions of um, this um, guard for here ninja woman did she have a, have a name too um they are a bit peculiar i feel like she was really um, fascinated by what happened uh, so she kind of wants to explore it further what could this mean and what this uh, creature is that wolf uh, person um right so she's really curious about it and obviously if uh, it could defeat the bear the bear can't really be the fabled uh, lord oniguma the god right um the, it doesn't really deserve their respect anymore if it's defeated like this um you know what i mean so i guess this is understandable i just wish maybe she would um, explain a bit more why did she make this choice um to still say that yeah ritual was a success her parents march's parents will still think that she's dead and uh, probably yeah they said they will declare both of them dead so the poor parents will think that two of their girls of their daughters are dead so uh, yeah uh, we know as a viewer that they are okay that they are alive and i hope they will be okay for a long long time uh, but it, it, it's sad that the parents and the whole village um, uh, they wouldn't know and they will mourn them as dead so uh, that is pretty depressing for them but yeah for, for me i'm happy because uh, the episode ended pretty much happily so that was very exciting and very interesting but that probably would be it for today uh, so share your thoughts if you have any in the comments down below without spoilers of course thank you for watching and see ya mm -hmm.